On behalf of Henrico County Public Schools, the Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services, Rehabilitative Services and Vocational Placement Incorporated, and our very first graduating class of the Career Skills Exploration Program, it is, <laughs> it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you on this beautiful evening to Mobilex for our inaugural graduation ceremony. Thank you. Please join me in standing as the CSEP class of 2019 begins their procession. At this time, I would like to welcome our dignitaries from Henrico County Public Schools Central Office, the Department of Aging and Rehabilitative Services, and Rehabilitative Services and Vocational Placement Incorporated. Dr. Amy Cashwell, Superintendent of Henrico County Public Schools. <laughs> Dr. Leslie Hughes, Assistant Superintendent of Henrico County Public Schools. Mr. John Montgomery, School Board Chair and Verina District School Board Representative. Ms. Donna Stavenport, Director of Exceptional Education in Michael County Public Schools. Dr. Katie Smith, Assistant Director of Exceptional Education in Michael County Public Schools. Ms. Sharina Sewell, District Director, Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services. Ms. Hannah Ramsey, Pre-Employment Transition Counselor for the Department of Aging and Rehabilitative Services. Mr. Jason Harper, President, Rehabilitative Services and Vocational Placement Incorporated. And Ms. Anna Fierro, Rehabilitative Services and Vocational Placement Incorporated, Pre-Ex Transition Services Supervisor. <laughs> Mr. Roberto Chavaria, Lead Instructor. <laughs> Ms. Sarah Warden, Assistant Instructor. Mary Calvanesso, Lead Instructional Assistant. And there are many additional instructional assistants that have assisted us during the CSET program. If you're in the audience, please stand. So on behalf of my colleagues on the school board, I bring you greetings and congratulations to you wonderful graduates and completers of this wonderful program, this first of its kind for our school division. Uh, in a week or so, right down here at, at the um, Siegel Center, we'll have a whole series of graduations, and it's a wonderful time of year. It's a celebratory time of year. But I'm going to tell you right now that I will, never, I, I will not have the same feeling at those of, of tremendous respect and admiration for all of the, the people that were just introduced and thanked, uh, but particularly for these young adults over here and what they've accomplished and how they're going to make us in Rico proud for, for years to come. So, so I, I just want you to know that uh, from the bottom of my heart, for all of my colleagues on the school board, I bring you greetings, I bring you thank yous, and, and enjoy tonight and enjoy the days and the weeks and the months and the years to come with these fabulous, uh, wonderful people that you have as part of your families and part of my family. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Montgomery. Bringing greetings and congratulations is the superintendent of Henrico County Public Schools, Dr. Amy Cashwell. Thank you so much. Well, it is such an honor and a delight to share this evening's celebration with you, celebrating the first 12 graduates of the Career Skills Exploration Program. You know, the unique CSEP program is the first of its kind in Central Virginia. It gives student, students important hands-on experiences and opportunities, like bringing two employment specialists into schools to give students direct instruction and employable skills. We have so much to celebrate today. First graduates, let's celebrate your hard work. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> Thank you. 
graduates, because of how hard you have worked, you're developing skills that will give you the independence to create the lives that you want. It's a celebration of family, as you can clearly see the many proud faces here sharing with their students. It's a celebration of learning. In Henrico, skill, in Henrico schools, one of our major areas of focus is ensuring that students are life ready and prepared to embrace the challenges that come their way. This innovative program is the perfect example of that. It's also a celebration of community because opportunities like these require everyone coming together our teachers and our staff members, our partners, RSVP Inc. and the Virginia Department for Aging and Re Rehabilitative Services, and our community-minded businesses and organizational sponsors. I would ask everyone to take a moment to think about a special thanks to all of those who made this evening possible and get an idea from your programs of how our community has come together to make this event possible. Thank you so much to all of you. So to our graduates, to our families, and to everyone who made this first graduating class a success, thank you. And again, congratulations, graduates. Thank you so much for your kind words, Dr. Cashwell. It is now my great pleasure to introduce you to my friend and the Director of Exceptional Education for Henrico County Public Schools, Ms. Donna Stavenport. Well, hi, everybody. <laughs> So we spend a lot of time in Henrico County Schools talking about what it means to be life ready, what it means to embody the Henrico learner profile, what it means to engage in deeper learning. And I'll tell you what it means. It means what each one of these 12 kids have done this year, young adults. And I cannot be prouder to, than I am at this moment to see the tremendous accomplishment that they've had for themselves for our department and for the school division. They are making us so proud right now. So thank you all for everything that you're doing and the tremendous jobs that you've done. Um, I had an idea of what I was gonna say before I stood up here and then as you know the kids progressed in and the different people have spoken, I just feel like I have to say how privileged I am to lead this department. Um, every day I am surrounded by educators who have passion, creativity, and just drive, that is astounding. And we are so lucky to have them supporting our department and our, and our students. I really wanna thank Rebecca Wood, who came to me a year and a half ago with Jason Harper and had this idea that they were like, just please let us do it. Please let us do this idea. We know it sounds crazy, but we think it's gonna be great for kids. And of course I was like, yeah, this is great. Let's figure out how to make it happen. And it's that type of drive and that type of passion that creates these opportunities for our students. Um, once again, I'm so glad you're all here with us tonight. I, I know you're as proud of your kids and your students as I am, and if we can make it through this with dry eyes, it's probably gonna be a miracle. But thank you all for being here, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of it. Thank you, Mrs. Davenport. Um, my name's Catherine Cosley. I refer to myself as the Rebecca Wood of the East. <laughs> And um, I had very hard shoes to fill when John Stewart left last year, but um, Rebecca has made it exceptional. Um, I couldn't have a better person to work with every day, to collaborate with every day. She is just um, probably the best coworker I've ever had. Um, but we will now have a word from our community business partners. These individuals opened not only their businesses, but their hearts to our students. Our program would not have been a success without their partnership. It is my honor to introduce Emily Goodman from Blue Ocean Brain to share remarks with you this evening. Good evening. I'm really honored to be here representing Blue Ocean Brain. And I wrote down a few words. I, I just. These kids, <laughs> I barely know them. I met them two days, and they're just, they made such an impact on us at Blue Ocean Brain. They came in. We were excited to have you all. We were excited to meet them. They came in, introduced themselves, making you know, great eye contact, professional conduct, shaking hands, introducing themselves, just really eager and willing to learn and help. And so we got started right away. They listened to us talk about the business. 
we gave him a plan for the day, and we started right away. Hands are shooting up of, oh, I want to volunteer to do this, to do that. We packed t-shirts. We played games. Uh, we, uh, what else did we do? We, oh, we did artwork. Yes. Uh, it was just, it, they each painted some artwork for us. And I, I want to say that one of my favorite times was watching these kids do this art. Kids. Adults. Yeah. Young adults. Excuse me. Um, they were given the same directive. Um, our, we're Blue Ocean Brain, we're um, blue and yellow. They were asked to paint circles and we're going to make a beautiful piece with all of them together. It was just amazing. No talking was necessary. The imagination and receptive understanding skills, it was just, they were all different and reflected their unique personal individuality and we are so excited to have those now as a part of our Blue Ocean Brain culture and shared with everyone who comes to see us. So thank you all very much for painting those beautiful pieces for us. And then on a personal note, I wanted to say the lasting impact for me personally was watching these students interact with one another. It was obvious they truly care about each other, their peers, and they want to help each other succeed. They want to have fun along the way, but they're there for each other. It was really fun to watch. So the friendships that they have with each other is a gift that they shared with us. And I personally felt like I took that away from the experience. So thank you for sharing that with us. After their time with us, we asked to them to give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. And one student said he was sad to leave. We were sad too. And another said he had one word for his experience. It was lit. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just wanted to let you know that these incredible students had a lasting impact on us at Blue Ocean Brain, our staff, and that we thank you for sharing them with us. Congratulations. And my experience with you was lit. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Emily. I would like to now introduce Mr. David Weber from Tzatziki Mediterranean Cafe. Oh, I'm just happy I could see over this podium. So. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, my name is David. I'm with Tzatziki's Cafe. Not much of a public speaker, but uh, if Amanda can come up here and sing the national anthem, I can come up here and talk to you guys. You awesome go. job. Yeah. Awesome job. I've had the opportunity to work uh, with the young adults that, gradu that are graduating today at uh, my restaurant in Glen Allen. Hello. <laughs> We've had, uh, you know, they were amazing when they came into our, our restaurant. You know, I did not expect them to have the impact on me and, uh, you know, all my employees. And every day it makes us so proud to have kids and young adults from Henrico schools come into our restaurant and uh, learn skills and uh, interact with the employees and we recently had our first full-time uh, employee hired um, she's been with us for five years and she's finally full-time and she's absolutely amazing so you know having the opportunity to come here today see them graduate and uh, before I get teary-eyed you know <laughs> you know I hope you guys come back and see me and uh, you guys are always welcome there, and let me know if you ever need a job. All right. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Weber. I would like to introduce to you next um, a person that has been pivotal in making this evening um, happen for us. Um, he has opened up his business to us. He has opened up his employees to support us. He has supported our students. Um, I was speaking to him before we were um, going to start this evening, and I had, was telling him that um, Rebecca and I were speaking. We, I'm going to get teary-eyed. <laughs> we don't have enough appreciation. I, I can't even begin to express the level of appreciation that we have for Mr. Garrett Ross, co-founder and chief executive officer of Mobilux. Make me cry. <laughs> um, 
I actually got a, the opportunity to speak at my graduation, and it doesn't compare to how grateful I feel to be able to speak at your guys' graduation. When I uh, spoke at my graduation, I actually spoke about somebody who was very, very, very special to me and who's one of my heroes. Now, many of us have studied and learned about the great Helen Keller, the different things she was able to do at a lot of different pieces in her life, the great things that she wrote, how she influenced and changed so many people's lives. And oftentimes, we kind of forget about the Ann Sullivans. And Ann Sullivan, going back through and thinking about her a little bit, those miracle workers that spend time in our lives to do different things. Ann Sullivan was 20 years old when she decided to go work for Helen Keller and her family. She was 20 years old when she went out and had that moment that we're so famous, like, of knowing and hearing about, of connecting water to an actual communication ability. And to be behind the scenes, to make things happen for amazing adults and people is what drives people forward. Now, the thing that's interesting to me is when I looked a little bit about Ann Sullivan, she also spoke at her own high school graduation. And back in 1886, she said the following at her graduation. Duty bids us go forth into active life. Let us go cheerfully, hopefully, and earnestly, and set ourselves to find our special part. When we have found it, willingly and faithfully perform it, for every obstacle we overcome, every success we achieve, tends to bring men and women closer to God. I am very grateful for this truth. I know that exactly to be true. Any chance we have an opportunity to be able to break down some walls, enable some things to happen, miracles take place. People's lives change, hearts change. I've seen it over and over and over. And I'm so grateful for all these wonderful people who came to our building, our home, touched the lives of those who were able to take time to interact with them. But more importantly, I think you all need to make sure you take credit for yourselves, because there's a lot of Ann Sullivans in this room. There are a lot of people who take the time, who are behind the scenes, who connect the dots, who break down walls, and who fight for things. And if we can find ways between our businesses and people here to be able to help make that easier, to lift that burden for a night, it's our responsibility to do yeah. so. So thank you. Congratulations. Thank you all for coming tonight. We're really, really grateful to have you here. Thank you, Garrett. Um, Mr. Roberto Cheveria, our lead CSEP instructor, will now say a few remarks. I don't know where to start, but to give you 12 amazing reasons why this year has been so successful. And you look at them, look at, looking at them right there. <clears throat> So I just wanted to share a couple thoughts uh, about the year. <clears throat> First, I want to express my gratitude and sincere privilege for this wonderful opportunity afforded to me this year to educate this wonderful set of students on the world of work. And when I look, at, when I look back at this wonderful effort, one word especially comes to mind, effort. Our class this year was not based on whether the students got answered questions right or wrong, but rather their effort, the effort that they put each and every day um, into getting their results, regardless of the outcome. The key word here is effort. Did you give it your honest effort? Did you give it your fullest? Did you give it your 100% each and every time? This is what most struck me about this class this year, all their efforts and willingness to fully participate in all activities, all our outings, and all the classroom lectures that impressed me every day. Not a day went by <clears throat> when I did not shed a tear or two in private. They struggled with very heavy, complicated, grown-up material. I have to give it to them. This wasn't easy stuff. Um, but they always gave it their best 100% effort. I told the students, please continue to, please continue to what you have shown me this year in class and you're going to achieve more than what you ever set out to do because of all your efforts. Continue to grow and nurture 
your passion for learning. Okay? Like the saying goes, there's no I in team. Well, there's no I in we either. We all work together with great passion in the classroom and on the field this year to understand the wonderful world of work, what it's all about, and the opportunities it can bring you. Okay, always give it your best efforts. Put forth your best effort. This is all I ask of you all, but the, your results have exceed, far exceeded my expectations. I would like to conclude my portion of the program by quoting a lady um, that you, who you all know very well, Ms. Viola Davis, award-winning actress, producer, and humanitarian. She gave a commencement speech to a class in 2012 at Providence College. Uh, her speech has become a um, great part of my life since I first heard it. And part of it goes like this. <clears throat> you see, the two most important days in your life are one, number one, the day you were born, and number two, the day you discover why you were born. Okay? You may veer off course, but all while that purpose, that thing you were spe specifically divinely made for, will be looming right in front of you. Okay? May all of you attending here tonight find that day. Thank you very much. Now, with further ado, I'd like to go ahead and welcome the stars of the evening. And I will introduce a couple and we'll take turns introducing our students. Okay? I'd like to introduce first Mr. Jacob Asiorito. Words about him and how his year went. Come on. For you. <laughs> so Jacob has come so far in CSEP class this year. His smile and happy disposition adds so much to our group. When a question is asked of him, it might take him a few minutes, but he always tries to do uh, his best to answer the questions. Jake is also very willing to do all jobs when we're out exploring our careers. <laughs> Jacob demonstrated a great effort in participating in the class and giving it his best every day. Jake showed a wonderful aptitude for art and truly enjoyed when we worked together with a web designer at Mobilex, and when he was able to express himself while painting at Blue Ocean Brain. Okay, while his smile and happy face made everyone feel warm and welcome in the class and in the community, he learned many new skills. He listened well and participated in diff all our different outings. He was a wonderful addition to our class, and everyone enjoyed being around him and having the opportunity to participate together in class exercises. We cannot wait to see what the future holds for Mr. Jacob. <laughs> the lovely Miss Guyanne Barton. <laughs> okay. This year, Sky is a senior at J.R. Tucker High School, and I tell you. <laughs> You are, are a proud tiger, and you know it every day. <laughs> Sky has been, in, has been in the greenhouse program for uh, at Hermitage Ace Center for the past year. She's always willing to do any job and is the first to help others out. She's, very, she's a very determined young lady that knows what she wants out of life. Her passion is NASCAR and Penn State University. <laughs> <laughs> She's always happy and loves to share stories of her family. She greets us daily with giant hugs, <laughs> high fives, and with her infectious smile. Sky's dream after graduation is to work at a Panera Bread, or Panera. We can't wait to see what future holds for her, and she has asked me to mention to everybody today that she does have cerebral palsy. Okay. Thank you.
I would like to invite Miss Mary Cabanesso up to the podium. <laughs> Lovely boss Rebecca has asked me to say a few words about two of our students. One, unfortunately, Erin is not here, but she does hold a special place in my heart. Erin is at Spark this evening, preparing for her performance on Sunday. Her mom is here to accept her completion certificate and portfolio on her behalf. Mom, over there. Erin's a senior this year at Godwin High School. She is funny, sassy, and has a wonderful sense of humor. And I could not describe her any better than that. <laughs> she works really well with her peers and is very confident in everything she does. She has been a true delight to have in class. Erin is passionate about working at Natalie's Lebanese Restaurant as a hostess and American Family Fitness as a desk attendant. She has a strong desire to be a fashion designer, singer-songwriter, or a WWE superstar. Erin <laughs> will be attending North Star Academy in the fall. Her smile and charm always warm up the classroom when she arrives. She is very caring and a determined young lady. She is always willing to lend a helping hand to anyone that needs it. We're all so proud of Erin and cannot wait to see what the future holds for her. Congratulations, Erin. Oh, just a little side note on Erin is she thought it'd be real funny to call me Miriam most of the year, even though she very well knows my name is Mary. So I started calling her Erica. So that's our little thing now. I'm er She's Erica and I'm Miriam. So. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, please let her know how proud we are of her. Next, I would love to introduce you to Amanda Blair. Our lovely song person, our singer of the year. Congratulations, I just stand here and let me talk nice about you, okay? Because who wouldn't ever? Amanda is a senior this year at Godwin High School. We're really proud to announce that next year Amanda will be entering the Project Search program at St. Mary's Hospital as an intern, oh, wow. which is awesome. <laughs> Amanda can sometimes be quiet and even a little shy, but just when you least expect it, she'll say something hilarious. <laughs> a lot of times she says something hilarious. She has a beautiful singing voice, which everyone heard tonight. And we all love it when she sings in class. We had a bit of a singing party today, didn't we? We were practicing and we sang some um, really fun songs too. She's really opened up through CSAP and has grown so much. She shows us her amazing personality every day. Amanda has an interest in working with animals and truly enjoyed going to the Appalachian Great Pyrenees Rescue with CSAP this year. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Amanda enjoys spending time with all her classmates and having a chance to participate in all activities. Her efforts, and courage were very, yeah, her efforts and courage were very admirable to all of us. We cannot wait to hear all about your accomplishments in Project Search and beyond. Congratulations, Amanda. Congratulations, you have such a beautiful voice. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, I would like to now introduce Ms. Hannah Ramsey from the Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services. Like I said, my name is Hannah Ramsey from DARS and I'm really excited to be able to introduce to you a couple more students. So now up next we have Cameron Cunningham from Deep Run. Cameron is a senior at Deep Run High School this year. Okay. He has worked very hard in the CSEP program. Cameron's smile will light up any room. He is such a hard worker and tries his best at all things that are asked of him. He is quite the gentleman, always holding open doors for others. Um, Cameron, Cameron, as you can see, Cameron is also a very quiet young man and is very shy, and a man of few words. But as the days and months progressed, his speech and participation increased throughout the class. 
He enjoyed outings and learning new skills for the job, and he learned many new skills and assets that will help him in his future job opportunities. Cameron has enjoyed learning more about future opportunities through CSEP, and we enjoyed seeing him shine. We're so proud of you, Cameron. Pleasure to introduce to you our next student, Miss Alexis Steen. <laughs> Alexis is a senior this year at Godwin High School. She is a true ray of sunshine. Each morning she greets us with an infectious smile and a generous laugh. Alexis always looks her best and has a great has many great beauty skills. Alexis is a very hard worker and always encourages her friends, whether in class or in a new environment. She works hard and is always willing to raise her hand and answer questions. <laughs> she will do well in anything she tries. After graduation, Alexis aspires to get a full-time job, perhaps in fashion. Her style, warm personality, and infectious smile made everyone feel welcome this year. She is attentive, very conversational in class discussions, and is a great listener. These are the skills that will continue to make her a success. We are very proud of you, Alexis. Really? Hello, everyone. I am assistant to Mr. Roberto, and I would like to introduce um, Robert Kirby. Um, he is a student at Glen Allen, but he's not here tonight. He has that spark, um, but he goes by Bert. He loves to be called Bert. Um, his mother is here on his behalf to accept his certificate of the completion and portfolio. Bert is a senior at Glen Allen High School this year, and Bert is sometimes quiet in class, but he is not afraid to ask when he needs something. His favorite trip this year was at PBS, and he loved telling everyone his mom worked there and everything they were going to see. And Bert um, keeps us up to date on old movies and um, The Incredibles and The Beatles. And the class also enjoyed his infectious smile and short speeches. Bert has been a wonderful addition to the, um, to the class, and he is a bright young man with a big future ahead of him. And his love of all things cultural and music were appreciated by all his classmates. He has been so fun to have in our CSEP class, and we wish you the best in all of your future en endeavors, Bert. Please let them know how proud we are of it. What an outstanding job. And I would also like to introduce Noah. Noah is a senior at Godwin High School. Noah has grown so much in the, fast, um, the past few months. At first, he was quiet and shy, and we had to work on getting him to answer questions. And Noah completely came out of his shell as weeks and the months progressed in the class and made everyone want to participate in class conversations. He overcame all the difficulties that posed a challenge to him and became more confident in himself and all of his abilities. His wonderful smile and personality continued to grow and develop throughout his time in class. Now Noah is one of the first ones to raise his hands or offer to be the first to try something new. He constantly encourages his classmates and aspires to get a full-time job after graduation, and he has a strong desire to work with children or at an auto zone. He is very proud of his loving and supportive family and enjoys telling us about them. Noah, we cannot wait to, t wait to see what your future holds for you. I'd like to introduce Tremaine McKeever. He is a senior at Henrico High School this year. Trey has really opened up since the program began. He loves to tell us all about racing and all the drivers. 
He has so many fun facts to share. He works very hard in class and does wonderfully when we are exploring new job opportunities. Trey is an encyclopedia of knowledge regarding Formula One racing, and the class received a full education in this sport this year. Yes. Trey gained many new skills and enjoyed all the class outings he participated in. He has a bright future and a wonderful personality that will take him very far. We cannot wait to see what the future holds for Trey. Well done, sir. Congratulations. I also have the pleasure of um, introducing Alex Moran. All right. All right. All right. Sure. Alex is a senior at Godwin High School. This year, he also participated in the radio broadcast journalism class at Highland Springs through the Advanced Career Education Center. Alex keeps us entertained every day with his knowledge of all things Elvis and Elton John. He is also personable to everyone when we go on our job tours. Alex is always the first to introduce himself, shake someone's hand, and share a bit of his knowledge. Often, he will also quiz new people he meets on his favorite show, on their favorite shows, and delights in naming the characters of memorable quotes from a show or episode. Everyone is always impressed by Alex. Alex enjoyed all the worksite tours and asked many questions and had great answers. His curiosity regarding the world of work and possibilities for future employment continue to grow throughout his time in the class. We cannot wait to see what the future holds for Alex. All right. Congratulations to you. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. <laughs> and Rebecca will finish up for us. It is my honor to introduce you to Mr. Lee Parker. Lee, will you come up here with me? Yes, Rebecca. Good. Lee Parker is a senior this year at Hermitage High School. He is also in the graphic design class at the Hermitage Advanced Career Education Center. Lee loves to create new items for himself and for his friends in Mr. Glasner's class. I myself have been the lucky recipient of many buttons and pictures that Lee has created. Lee is a bright, shining star and will go so far with his positive attitude, personable nature, and infectious smile. Lee is always the first to raise his hand or extend his hand to introduce himself. He's so full of wonderful information that he loves to share with his classmates and teachers. He was a great help when we went to graphics class and quickly took the lead showing us all how to create coffee mugs, buttons, and t-shirts. Lee has been a true delight to have in class this year. He showed tremendous effort in understanding even the most difficult material presented to him and always raised his hand with a question if he had one. He is a true success story already and has an even brighter future ahead of him. Lee will be attending Project Search at St. Mary's Hospital this fall as an intern. We are so proud of Lee and can't wait to see what the future holds for him. We are so proud of you. Congratulations, sir. Well done. Congratulations, It is my pleasure now to introduce Ms. Sharina Sewell from the Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services, who will share closing remarks. Wow, what an evening, right? Yes. This is better than anything we're going to see next week. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't tell my daughter that. So. <laughs> So this was a wonderful evening, and I'm going to be brief, but I do want to focus on something. So I'm going to first address um, the seasoned folks in the room, those who um, 
have perhaps already graduated through certain aspects in life. So, adults, I'm talking to you. Parents, I first want to say congratulations and thank you for allowing us um, from the Department for Aging and Rehab Services, from Michael County Public Schools, RSVP, thank you for entrusting us to take care of your students and help them lead and evolve in their lives. This is a very important time in their lives and we truly acted as a village and you trusted all of us with that and we thank you for that. Also want to say, now that we've done that, we have so much more to do. Not just for these wonderful young people, but for other young people that are still in school coming up. We've proven that in our wonderful county in Henrico and with this school system, we have proven that we can partner, collaborate, and create something amazing for our young people. Something that will take them further in life tomorrow, next year, and so on and so forth. I'm all about work. I am the work lady, so when I hear about the wonderful things that they've done, all the experiences they've got to participate in, I can't help but get excited because I want to see more. So it is our responsibility to continue to do this year after year after year, and I hope that we can do it because it's exciting. And we were put here for a purpose and a reason, and when I saw uh, Hannah, my DARS counselor, come to me, she was as bubbly as can be, and then I spoke to Rebecca, who I, and I think they're the same people. Um, <laughs> if you're ever in the room with them, you're not really sure who you're talking to because they click like this. And their enthusiasm and their dedication, along with everyone else, has just been infectious. So we have to spread the word. Um, I challenge all of us to challenge th these young people. They've learned things. They've done things. We need to hold them accountable. We need to make sure that they work at home, in the community, that they serve and give back. And they not work one hour a day, but they go ahead and work four, five, six, eight hours a day. And that we push them. And when it gets hard, we push them a little more. That's our responsibility. Young people, graduates, very proud of you. I'm happy for you. And I just want to say one thing. So you're graduating from this program. And when you graduate, that means you're getting a degree. You all got these uh, plaques and degrees. You're moving on to something else. Whatever that something else is, if you're going to Project Search, if you're going to work, if you're going to North Star, if you're going back to school, whatever it is you're going to do, do it better than you did yesterday. And keep trying, keep working hard, make sure that people remember you in a positive way. Give back to your community and work, work hard, okay? It's gonna take you far in life and you need your own money. So, with that, I just want to say I'm very pleased uh, to thank the members of this class for an outstanding, outstanding academic effort on behalf of the faculty and staff of Henrico County Public Schools, DARS, and RSVP. Congratulations once again to all of our graduates. Now, the class of 2019, that's you guys, will take one final walk together.